Hello everybody and welcome to Path of Titans with big content update coming in September. This is a game that has not been released yet. However, on um, the App Store or the I, I, is the iPhone is the iPhone Store? Oh God, I, iTunes, whatever it is, <laughs> that that one. There is a free version of it now on PC. This hasn't came out yet. I deliberately haven't covered this because of certain controversial things that have been going on behind the scenes. Um, but when it comes, what? Multiplayer servers are hosted specific times. Please check Discord channel. I was on this yesterday and it was fine. Oh, damn it. Maybe the there mustn't be any on at the moment. No refresh? Fresh doesn't work? Okay. Well, I guess we go on single player then. Upgrade to unlock AI. What? Map exploration, swimming, fishing, which you have to upgrade. How do you upgrade? You have to pay for that. Oh. Ah, here we go. One exclusive skin for supporting us. Eight dollars. So maybe the yeah, I know. Go away. Let's be backed up. Let's be backed up. So if I if I want to upgrade to access new features early, what like okay. So I'm paying twenty two dollars to get early access of the app game version. Okay. So basically, if you want to play this game properly, you're gonna have to give them twenty three dollars for an app game. That's that's a lot. Okay, well, I guess I explore the map. Ooh, I can be a Laton Vitrix or whatever it is. A Deinonychus. Oh, that's it? That's all I can be? What if I go herbivore? A Campathosaurus or Camptosaurus. A Struthiomimus. Oh, look, it's feather. That looks awesome. Oh, that's the only ones I can be. I can choose a... Oh, God, look at all this. Okay, so these are on all unlocked. They don't really seem to make much of a difference. But if I want this one, I can buy it now. Interesting. Interesting. So I can get this one for free. And can I just... Ch I can change the colors of this one. Oh, and I can change the pattern of it as well. It's got three different variants. It's got spots. I want to be green. Is it, oh, is that the eye? Oh, that is the eye. Okay. <gasps> Enter world! Oh, God, yep. This give me flashbacks of the aisle. So, here we go. Apparently, I have an operating system or iOS upgrade that is too low for this, apparently. Or I need to upgrade it. My iPad is too old. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it needs updating. I'm not so sure. Oh, look at me! What does this one do? Now, the other day, I did come online... Uh, just to try this, because I was wanting to do it for a video. And there was a server on, and I was a raptor. And there is a chat box as well, so you can type in there, which is pretty decent. I've got to admit, I don't know why this is in the app store. I really don't. Other than, like, getting money, there's, there's, no, uh, there's no real reason for this to be in the app store. And I don't think I'm being extremely critical of that. This is just not the type of game that is great for, like, touch screen. <laughs> oh, I have a sleepy button. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay, so in order to get stamina back, I need to sit down. What if I click it again? There is a crouch, and I think there is a jump button. Oh, look at me go! And there's no sound whatsoever except for what I do. Uh, attacks don't do anything. When I was a raptor, they didn't do anything either. Um, I have a call button. At least it does make some sort of noise, but I don't know... Oh! I don't know how I'm, I'm- do I eat the mushrooms? I don't even know if my health's going up or down. Should we- should we explore? Let's explore. Oh, right, do I tap to run? Ah, okay, so it's like a run button. Right. Even though- Oh! I- I got coins! I'm getting currency for, for visiting different parts of the world. Um, even though this is an app game, I'm not gonna say no to it. Um, I will, however, question, like, what kind of devices you need to run this. Because this looks really- this looks better than the Roblox version of, uh, I don't know what the game was. And that was on a computer. Whereas this one, I'm getting- it- it feels like 10 frames a second, if that. It feels really, really slow. And if you've got a server with 200 people on it that they're, they're saying, I don't know how you can you can do that. I don't know how a phone is going to be able to handle all that processing power. Especially if you've got an iPhone, it's going to literally burn up in your fingers. <laughs> Ooh, we've got a, day, a night cycle now. Okay, so can I change dinosaur? Oh, okay, so maybe this is where... Oh, I am on the highest 
Frames per second, 30. Let's go for 60. Oh, let's go for the lowest setting and go for 60 and apply. Okay, this seems a little bit smoother. A little bit smoother. Um, I really don't know how this is low, though. A recording indicator. So, just like the aisle, you can actually record your game footage. And I was to go to replays, I would be able to see that. Look, they got replays and mods. Okay, let's let's try a carnival. Let's try a carnival. I mean, there's nothing else we can do. We can do time, day, and weather. This showcases the time, day, and weather. Ooh, is this going to be a video, is it? Oh, okay. Yeah, pretty much. Cloud density. Ooh. Now, I have put the settings down to not epic, so this is low. Is it like rainy? No difference. Okay, what about overcast? Okay, no difference. What about fog? Do any of these work? Oh, it's because I got the density down. Okay, so there we go. How about fog now? No, okay. Overcast. Actually, the cloud makes it run quicker. <laughs> it. I will admit... It looks really good. Also, this is incredibly similar to the Isles recording system. In the bottom right, you have this. So if I was to scroll down, this is a video I'm watching. Oh no, I can just change the time of day. Wow, this looks stunning. For an app game, this looks so good. Again, like I said, it looks really good. I still don't see the point in having it though. Can I do character customization? Like, can we choose the other dinosaurs? Right, here we go. So I can choose the other dinosaurs. Spinosaurus. I just can't play as these, so Sukumimus, to Desplatosaurus. So you've got Desplatosaurus, Letovenetrix, Spinosaurus, which looks very similar. I feel like I've seen that. I can't see the head though. And there's no way for me to, if I create it, can I, I, I still can't see its head. <laughs> Edit, there's no way I can upgrade. Oh, okay, so there's the currency. So I can unlock the different skins. So I could unlock that one if I wanted to, but there's no point at the moment. Oh, look at this, a Paxilus. What's a Paxilus? Is that... Oh, these are different types. Oh, it changes the fin and stuff. Oh, that looks really cool. Again, shame. I can't see the actual damn dinosaur. Uh, male and female, you've got a little bit of coloring in the change there. Latovenetrix, we've seen the Spinosaurus. Sukumimus, uh, changing the male to female. There's different, is there different types? No, there's not different types of Sukumimus. Ceratosaurus, is there different types of that? Yes, there is. Changes the head crest. Oh, that's cool. Uh, female to male. You've got all these different skins. Look at this. this I mean, it's going to be really good when it's made. Oh, that's cool. I like that one. I'd like to play as that one. Can I play as that one? I don't think I can though. An Allosaurus. Oh, there we go. There's a walking with dinosaurs one. Found that quickly. Oh, there's another lovely one. Oh, look at them. Oh, an albino as well. Oh, I can unlock now. Buy. I can buy that one now. That's probably the limited skins. <laughs> Alioramus. And then back to Desplatosaurus. Oh, so that's a Deinonychus. That looks tiny. I thought Deinonychus was way bigger. Deinonychus, was it not? Oh, okay, never mind. But let's make ourselves pretty. Blue. And green eyes. And we can change our pattern a little bit. Ooh, I like that brown one. I want to be the brown one. Is there different types as well? Oh, we can change the feathers. Hell, give me them feathers. Yes. Create and enter the world. Okay, so now we're playing as a carnival. Um... Oh, it's so cool. I love the little blue feet he's got. That's awesome. Is there any, can we attack? Now, I remember trying to do this. I don't even think it's in, but you can crouch as well. I don't seem to have it. Oh, no, there's the stamina. There we go. And then jump. Whee! I wonder if I can kill myself from a height. Is that possible? I'll jump in the water. Wah! Flap! Oh, oh, God. Oh, oh, that's lovely. Oh, God. Oh. Come on. Can I not climb up? Do I not just hold up? Can I not get up? Am I stuck? Is this it? Is this? Oh, no, it's not it for me. Woohoo! Let's just go running around. Let's see what we can explore. So the reason why I haven't covered this game, and I think I mentioned it in a couple of videos. Um, I can't remember what it was. Uh, there was a reason why I wasn't covering this game. And I think there was another game. It was. It all sort of happened. Oh, it was Day of Dragons. That's it. I mentioned why I wasn't covering this game in the same breath as I, I talked about Day of Dragons. Uh, so as far as I'm aware, and of course, there's always two sides of the story. Uh, the lead developer, like the coder on this game, um, worked on the aisle as well as I think Architect Project or so, some other dinosaur game. Uh, they ended up leaving those projects and starting this one. 
Um, and within, like, it seemed a very short period of time, it went to Kickstarter or Indiegogo. They were paying for ads on Facebook um, to promote their Indiegogo, saying like, oh, look, this is going to be the, the you play as a dinosaur, this is going to be the best new thing. Um, which is fine, I think that's okay for them to do. That guy left those two, oh, departed Redwood Basin. Ooh, I'm in a different place now, am I? Oh, it looks kind of the same, though. I'm also looking up me dinosaur skirts. Ian Malcolm would be very proud. Yeah. <laughs> Uh. He left that project, left the aisle, he left the architect project or whatever, and basically because uh, they took the code with them, uh, Dondi, and oh my god, I this game's rubbish, unrealistic, <laughs> but because this guy took the code, um, it left those guys hung up to dry. And uh, I think the aisle couldn't update at all because they didn't have the code or didn't write the code, didn't know the code. And the architect project, I think, just died there and then. Um, so, of course, there's going to be two sides to every story. I don't know. It, like, this is just what I've heard. Uh, oh, oh, look at that! The classic red and black checkerboard! Oh, that this, uh, the Cretaceous period was known for. Fantastic. Is there any, is there any else to go? Well, I'll tell you what, I'll have a sit down. There we go. This is, this is now a walking simulator. I called the aisle a sitting simulator. This one's a running slash walking simulator. So due to that reason and the fact that it, they went straight to like a Kickstarter funding kind of thing and then heavily promoted on Facebook. I remember seeing adverts for this all over the place. Um, and I remember getting in touch with, um, I don't know whether they paid for it, sorry. Um, it could have been that they approached, uh, like, uh, companies like Unilad and, um, and they promoted it. A lot of those companies put the same video up. They put the same thing up that the other companies or other journalist sites had put up as well. So obviously developers of this game had got in touch or sent a press kit out saying, hey, you should promote this. And it was, I think it was during like Fallen Kingdom or so, something, it, it seemed like it was everywhere at the time. So it was a heavy push for it. And we've been burned in the past. We've had Mesozoica if everybody remembers that, who went straight to Kickstarter, promised an amazing dinosaur game, and we all know how that ended up. Made some of us look like right idiots, didn't it? Yes. And a lot of us lost our money, me included. I think I backed the highest I could in that project. And did I see anything for it? No, nothing, nothing at all. And that's the reason why I haven't done this one because uh, the signs are there. A developer who um, left, you know, a, a prominent game like the Isle and maybe the Architect Project. <laughs> Say maybe because I didn't really play that one too much. Um, and left them high out, hung out to dry. And and they went straight to a Kickstarter or Indiegogo. And if I've got to be honest, it, it just didn't seem like a nice thing for them to do. Don't get me wrong. The graphics do look promising. The models look really promising. The game itself, I mean, we've already got the aisle, but you know, I don't mind if this wants to take in a different direction. I don't mind there being like two types of the aisle games out there, but there really isn't anything for me to value or evaluate, I should say at the moment. It, it's, it's, you know, it went on to Kickstarter or Indiegogo, I think it was. It seems to be making slow but sure progress. Until I feel that, you know, it's worthy of covering, I, I'm not really gonna do it because this is all it is at the moment. I've always said in the past as well, I want to just cover these games in a fair way that I can. I, I'd like to remove myself and the game away from, you know, the drama behind the scenes and other things that could have went on. But the more that, you know, I've gained my own following and the more I feel obligated and more so responsible for promoting these games, the more that that's not an excuse I can follow. If I don't feel like the, the developers are doing a right thing, as in leaving other games high and dry, going straight to a Kickstarter when all they've got to show is just some animations and assets. And after, of course, the Mesozoica debacle, I can't in good consciousness just do what I used to do, turn a blind eye to all of the warning signs or drama. And even though this game looks really good, I don't know. It's just, it's just the way I feel at the moment. And like I said, there's always two sides to a story. I just don't want this game to turn out to be another Mesozoica or another Day of Dragons. I don't know exactly how much of this is asset bought or if it's all 100% made. Again, needing to do research before I properly promote this game. But yeah, I mean, it shows promise. Look at this. This is on an app. This is on a phone. This is really good. Oh, there you go. There's some calls for you. All the same, kind of, but hey, there it is. 
<laughs> uh, yeah, but not everybody has a gaming computer. I do like a cool little flap. I flap my arms, that's nice. <laughs> but I can't do an attack. And then, same as yesterday when I was playing on an online server, I couldn't do that either. But I like, the, I like that. I like how we've got, you know, basics. We've got a crouching mechanic. We've got a jumping mechanic. You've got running, you've got calling. Pretty much the Isle is the blueprint for all dinosaur simulator kind of games. But yes, off topic, sorry. Like I said, a lot of people do not have the gaming computers and processing power in order to play the Isle, especially on high graphics. So having an app version of Plat... <laughs> Of Path of Titans, of Plath, of Path of Titans seems like a good idea. Uh, however, already they're they're going into oh well, if you want to play this, you're gonna have to pay proper money for it. I mean, if you want to play it properly, if you want to play it just like this, running around in an empty world. Fair enough, you can do that. But at the same time, what's the point? <laughs> Especially with the buying skins, it's got a lot of things that I I'm not too much of a fan of. You've got the buying skins from Primal Carnage, you've got the microtransactions of an app game, you've got the Kickstarter like straight away like, that you have of Mesozoica. I'm not saying one's better than the other or worse than the other, of course the Mesozoica one being the most glaringly obvious problem that, that's striking me straight away. Um, but there are some red flags that are showing for me. Um, I actually was meaning to do this video and play online and maybe attack and play with other people. So, so sorry that this hasn't been a <laughs> very entertaining episode. If anything, I, I've, sh I've shed some light on a, a, a very nice looking app game. And I think the, uh, the desktop version of this looks even better. Uh, some YouTubers have been approached by them um, to cover the game and they have done. They, they never got in touch with me. Uh, they never asked me to promote it, uh, probably because they might expect me to be critical of it. I don't know. I'd rather get all the facts first before I start on a an aisle kind of series and play through where I spend hundreds of hours on the game, hundreds of even more hours editing it. Life of a Deinonychus or something like that before we start doing that sort of thing. But anyway, that here you could call us a prologue of a possible Let's Play series. If you do want to check out the game, you can download it. I think it's, I, I don't know if it's on Android. I know it's on iPhones in the App Store on there. Path of Titans, a game that you probably want to keep an eye on. Graphics good, animations are good, except for those mushrooms. Those mushrooms, what more can I say? But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and until next time, I'll see you later. Uh, bye bye.